So when you're in your viewport here, you have this rotational tool which gives you this nice looking circular dolly shot that rotates around your character. So what if you wanted to render out something like that? Well, you can't make keyframes in your perspective view. So we're going to have to do it with a camera. So let's go ahead and create a camera. Let's just go ahead and copy what we have here. And let's switch to our camera so all of our movements are affecting the camera. So if you move it at all, it's going to create this keyframe at frame zero. Let's forward it to the end of the animation and let's rotate around our character. However, if we play this through, you're going to notice it doesn't do exactly what we wanted it to. That's because it only makes two keyframes, one right here and one right here. So it's going to take a straight shot between those two keyframes. and It's not going to give us that circular dolly shot that we wanted. So how do we do it? Well, we're going to get creative again with nulls. So let's create a null. Just name it null1. Let's go ahead and delete this keyframe that we created on our camera. So select the camera, delete this one. What we're going to do is we're going to parent this camera to null1. So right click, change parent, let's select null1. Now anything that we do to the null is going to affect the camera as well. So what we're going to do is animate the Y rotate. And you can see as we move this Y rotate, it's actually affecting the position of the camera. So here's our starting point. And let's take it to the end of the timeline and rotate it around to there. Now when we play it, we get that smooth circular dolly shot. And at this point we can actually go into the camera and create some more keyframes. For instance, maybe we want it to start here. Then at the end of the shot we want it to zoom in a little bit and move up and we want it to end right there. So hit play and you can see it's following the keyframes of the null and the camera. So parenting is a cool technique where you can apply movement to different things and it will affect other objects. Play around with it and I'm sure you're going to come up with a lot of cool techniques.